Emma, first of all, your first session back. Um, I know you, you missed the bleep test on Tuesday, but I think you'll still put three paces tonight. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Um, pre season's always tough with the uh, management. Obviously, you want you to be as fit as you can for the start of the season, so it's going to be tough, but um, once you work through that and the balls are out, you, you know, you start enjoying it then. Yeah, you, you've had six or seven weeks since the, the Durham Challenge Cup final, so I, I know you've, you've spent that with your family. You, you've obviously got a newborn as well, so just how's that been? No, it's been good. Um, I've enjoyed it. It doesn't feel like I've had a break, being honest. It just went like that so quick, but uh, when you come back in and you sort of get a new taste for this new season, you look, sort of look forward to it. Um, but we've just got to get these training sessions out of the way and get the uh, miles in the legs. Yeah, and I think you went down to Wembley as well, didn't you, with, with commentary? Yeah, I did, yeah. I was unfortunate, but uh, I was gutted to be lost. But it was a nice experience. Like, the atmosphere was good, but yeah, of course. Yeah, something else that happened during the summer, of course, the, the presentation, the awards night. You, you, you walked away with three awards, I think, in the end. So just reflecting upon last season, can you put it in words? No, I was proud. Um, presentation night was probably nice and on top, really. I mean, if you look with um, where well, I won, I think the players' player was the one that obviously means the most because it's your fellow teammates supporting you so um, yeah like I said last season was brilliant it's gone obviously now so I have to try and do it all again you know and um, it starts by getting as fit as you can yeah I know you, you briefly sort of worked with Bobby before he came to heaven but it's children but obviously when, when he came in and you weren't enjoying it as much and uh, sort of the, the season before when you had the caretaker manager and then Kev and whatnot and you, you weren't doing the best but Going into your first season at Bobby, do you feel as though it would have went as, as well as it did? No, it's been brilliant. Um, you know what you get with him. He, he tells you straight. There's no no going about it. It's, it's straight down the middle, so it's enjoyable. But um, yeah, he, he demand his high high standards. Demands high standards, and we've got to deliver. So yeah, it's enjoyable. Just and you know what you're doing on a Saturday. You don't turn up and you've you've got a cloud in mind. You know exactly what you what your role is. Yeah. And You've battled with Hendo for the number nine spot. I know Hendo walked away quite frustrated last season, um, but you, you did have a good little competition there at the front of the pitch. He has left the club, so you know what, what, what words have you got for him? No, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. He's a good lad as well, good friend, and um, obviously we've, we've spoke over the summer. Um, but that's football, isn't it? Like people move on and life goes on. So yeah, competitions, healthy competition. But when it comes to a Saturday, I want to play. Him. I'll do all it takes to play, you know what I mean? I'll look after myself off the pitch and I'll give everything I've got. Yeah, and just as yourself, of course, you've got another year's experience and they belt now. Obviously, loads of confidence from last year, so what's the motivation going into this year? To try and get promoted. You know, I'm not getting any younger and um, score as many goals as I can, try and beat last year um, and get promoted. That's, that's what I look to do every season. And um, I think the main thing for me is I've got to enjoy it. Once I enjoy it, then obviously the good things come. So. Enjoyment first, try and get promoted and score goals. So si, first off, um, you've had six or seven weeks since the end of the season. I know you've spent now with your family and I've had a newborn as well, so just how, how's that been? It's been really nice to have the, have the break and obviously recharge the batteries. I think it's really important, um, especially after last season, we worked really hard to achieve what we wanted to achieve last season. Um, so just to have time to relax and reflect on that is, I think it's really important for everyone. Yeah, you personally, you're still here at the club uh, after going into your third season. You've signed a contract until 2025 to be with the rest management team as well, so just how pleased are Yeah, I'm over the moon. Um, like My aim with the club is, is, is to try and grow with the club, so I know I have things I want to try and improve, and, and, and as the club climbs up, um, hopefully climbs up the leagues, then I can I can grow as a coach uh, with that. Yeah, you, you, you mentioned learning a lot from Bobby last year. I know he did teach you a lot about mentality and philosophy winning so how much have you grown yeah it's huge I've, i think i've came on a lot last year um just it, it, like you said the things around mentality and just desire to win um it's clear when 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 the management team came in that was a that was a that was a, a, a key target for them and that's something I'll, I'll i'll take with us in my with my coaching journey and of course we had a memorable night at the stadium of light winning the durham challenge cup so where does that rank in your coaching ah! achievements yeah probably probably top um obviously you come to clubs to try and win things and it's it's a bit of a relief because I feel like I've, I've now came here and I've, I've, I've achieved at least one trophy um, and obviously the aim now is to, that's in the past, the aim now is to go kick on and, and go one, one further in the league and, and hopefully continue to win cups because um, that's what we're here for. Yeah, second pre-season session over today, you've had a lot of young lads joining, 
Um, there's been a lot of running, but all lads have responded quite well. Yeah, honestly, first uh, first session we were really impressed with them, and then um, obviously they came back today on, on Thursday. Um, young lads have integrated really well. The lads look really sharp, um, both on the ball stuff and off the ball stuff. So I think as a mark, as preseason goes on, it's been a really good start. Yeah, nine preseason games, the first of which in just over a week now against Dumbarton. So how much are you looking forward to getting stuck in? Yeah, obviously games is the best thing for, for getting your match fit. Um, it's what the, the, the players look forward to, it's what the management team look forward to. Obviously we've got some really good games that we're all excited for, so um, Dumbarton away is going to be going to be the first one, obviously, and, and we're really looking forward to that.